I'm out here, downtown Dallas, trying to have a peaceful evening. Now we've got these fucking retards behind me. Look at this. Look at this. The majority, majority white people in this crowd that want to feel good about themselves. Look at this. They want to feel good about themselves. So they're out here ruining an otherwise peaceful evening with their BS. Look at it. No, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Look at this. Majority white people out here acting a fool because they want to feel like they're important. Look at this. Look at the racial makeup of this. Think about what the purpose of this would be. Remember that Opal Tometi and Patrice Colors are the founders of this organization. And they are admitting on camera that they are trained Marxists. All they care about is anarchy and social unrest. Look at this. Look at this. Again, majority white crowd. Because they want to feel like they belong to something. This is this is the real problem that we have. And I was enjoying my evening until these people came out here. Decided to act the fool. See? They're out here cursing. We've got look at this. Look at this. We've got little kids right here and they're cursing like it's no big deal. We got little kids right out here and they're cursing. Like it's, this is ridiculous. They don't really care. They don't really care. All they want to do is come out here and act a fool. Look at them. Look at them. These are the same ones. These are the same ones who, if they were to get apprehended by the police, they'd be the first ones to come out here and scream like there's some kind of discrimination because they're the ones out here who are fomenting this discord, they're fomenting this unrest. All they care about right now is creating a scene. That's why I want you to see this right now. Check it out. Check it out. See? See? We, she's cursing. We got little kids out here. She's still cursing. This is the this is the face. This is the face of mental retardation. Look at it. That's the entire, that's the entire problem with this right now. Is they're out here right now trying to act a fool. That's all they want to do. That's all they want to do. That's all they want to do. See, here we go. Here we go. See, here we go. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. See? They create, they create, they create the unrest. And then they get upset when someone actually speaks up for themselves. That's the problem. See, we got more people coming right, right now. That's all they want to do. That's all they want to do. This is not. This is not what we should be doing. This is not how we should react. This is not how we should be carrying ourselves. Look at this little white dude over here right now with his finger up in the air, thinking he's doing something. Look at this. I was trying to have. I was just enjoying my evening until these people showed up. And now they've ruined a peaceful evening. We had live music out here. They're ruining this evening just because someone actually spoke up for himself. This guy, now they're throwing shit. Look at this, now they're throwing shit. See, here we go. Dallas police is out here. Yep, Dallas police. Now Dallas police have to be out here doing this. Because these people can't behave. Because they literally look, look at what they're doing. Look at this. This is this is Marxism, cultural Marxism to a T. They did not come out here to be heard. They came out here to create a scene. You gotta realize what this what this really is and call it out for what it really is. This is not the answer. Out here at this restaurant tonight, we had plenty of white people, plenty of black people out here, all having a good time. And they came out here to create the scene. And now they're acting like they're the oppressed people. See, we're still going. Now we got tear gas coming out. Now we got tear gas coming out. Now we got tear gas coming out. Now they're throwing stuff. See, tear gas is coming. Yep. They brought this on this entire establishment. They brought this on the entire establishment because they cannot fucking behave and they can't learn how to express themselves like adults.
This was purposeful. And remember, we were all out here just enjoying a peaceful dinner, right? They came out here and they started this mess. I want you to see this firsthand because I guarantee you in the news, you will hear about some sort of violent demonstration. You will hear about this. I think it was too, yeah. yeah. You will hear about this. Be what? You have to, you have to, I understand, I understand. Love you too. But no, so they came out here with a purpose. And look at this. All these tables were full before. And later they cleared this entire restaurant because they could not behave and handle themselves appropriately. And now they're throwing stuff. This is, this is the anarchy that they want. This is what they continue to do. Listen to it. Now we're breaking windows. I just wanted to share that with y'all because this literally just developed right behind me. And y'all have a right to see what the real agenda is. Because right here, this is people of all races, all nationalities out here having a good time. And these people came out here and they created a scene. They've created this chaos. That's what they want. And now they're out, they've ruined this evening, essentially. Because they cannot express themselves like actual adults. All they care about right now is creating this manufactured outrage, this chaos. Because they, it, the, the, their, their rationale is, if we are upset, no one else can enjoy any peace whatsoever. That's the real problem here. We were all having a great time. There was live music. There was a black person out here performing. He had to stop because these fools out here continue to foment this chaos and discord wherever they can. So, no, oh, you're good. I appreciate it. So this is what we've come to now. And now they're trying to disperse now. They're running away like the cowards they really are, like the cultural Marxist cowards that they are. Because Dallas police showed up and now we got police out here with guns in the street right now trying to restore order that we had before until these fools showed up. Yeah, Derek, I'm in downtown Dallas. I was out with some dinner with friends, so I'm fixing to move to Houston, and I'm gonna deal with this BS once again because these, these uh, socially unstable, here, I'm gonna show you the place because now they're coming too. Can't have any peace, and it's all their fault. Look at this. Look at this. Now we got police coming in, we got pepper spray deployed, people throwing stuff. So they, they, they are the reason this is happening right now. Everyone else out here, white people, black people, Hispanic, Asian, we were all out here enjoying ourselves. Thank you all. We appreciate you. But we were out here enjoying ourselves and that wasn't enough. Because for these literal self-admitted, self-described cultural Marxists, they want to continue to foment this outrage. And it, the word, what's worse is it's arbitrary outrage. Right out here, this, what we had at this restaurant was the epitome of racial unity. We had people of all nationalities out here enjoying their dinners, having a great time, and they had to come out here and destroy this because they have some chip on their shoulder. Look at this, look at this. This little white dude, little white dude, shouting at the police officers, keeping him safe, keeping us all safe right now. He was the instigator. I'm just like, bro. He was the instigator. Why are you doing this? I mean, and the thing is, look at this, look at this. I don't know you, you don't know me. Yeah. But hey. we're out here right now. Hey. We are both out here at this restaurant, just enjoying ourselves. Totally. And they, I they, they and they ruined this evening, didn't they? Yeah, we were all having a great time, and they no, ruined this. Reason. For what? What were they trying Ooh, to accomplish? Lord, they walked past once, they walked past twice, then nope. they came across nope. over here and stood there until someone yeah. actually addressed them. And they yeah. act like they were being attacked at that point in time. Doesn't make any sense. I don't is know what your Jackson? name is, but... I don't, I'm trying to find my... Is this Jackson? Yes, it's the Jackson. Jackson, okay. But now, so we're still out here. But I was just at the right place at the right time. And now, unfortunately, the live music stopped. The fun time we were all having stopped because this majority white crowd could not let us have any peace on a Saturday night. That is the problem. Exactly. 
Exactly. They're, like, that ain't even us you know, on there. Tell the people. Tell that the people. That ain't even us on there. It's the majority white people it's that not. came in disturbing the peace. Exactly. Now, we agree. Black lives matter. But it's a time and place for everything, y'all. It's a time and place for everything. Thank you. Absolutely. So, and it's a problem because, you know, now we're out here and, you know, we're people, we were just, we were enjoying ourselves. And we can't do that anymore. They shut down. The crazy thing going, is there was a black guy who was doing live yeah, music. Yeah. So now he can't perform. But they're all black. Right. Exactly. Black lives matter. But black lives matter. Yep. There were probably three black, three, four black people in that crowd. Yep. So you're seeing the hypocrisy of this movement right now. I'm just glad this happened when it did because I wanted to show y'all what this really is. This is this is something more nefarious, more insidious than what it seems. See, they're still going. Look at him. We got one black person. We got two white people. And I've talked to multiple black people tonight who are out here who are genuinely ashamed because they realize this is not the way, the manner in which you express your outrage. So now it's not enough to engage in a protest. It's, you have to ruin someone else's evening. So I'm going to, uh, I'm still going to save, oh my bad. I'm going to save this, uh, live because y'all need to see what's really going on because honestly this this didn't ruin my night but this lit that fire inside because we need people who are out here actually showing what's really going to happen because CNN's not out here ABC's not out here CBS not out here I'm out here right now showing you what actually happened I was there I almost got tackled by a police officer myself but y'all need to know what's really going on with this BLM movement and how it's being hijacked by cultural Marxists and people who want to continue to tear this nation apart and y'all need to see this firsthand so Devonnie Felder in common sense in real time doing it live um y'all i'll be safe i'll be safe here in dallas but uh we can't let this continue anymore i won't stand for it y'all have a great night be blessed love you all